this is the Winter Snyder trim jet, and depending on which uh, processes the skis go through in the store, uh, they'll eventually get here. Um, this is how we maintain most of our race skis. Uh, we have our set up a little bit differently than most shops. Uh, we'll get to that in just a second. Uh, so you see there's a slightly, slight difference in how the machines function. Uh, this machine does, again, base and side beveling. What I'm holding in my hand here is a cup wheel. Uh, you'll hear a term referring to ceramic discs. Technically, they're, they're ceramic cup wheels. Um, you can see they sort of look like a cup if I were to hold it this way. They bolt onto the machine and spin this way um, up against the side edge of a ski. Um, or they would come up in the bottom in this particular machine uh, to grind the bottom edge of the skis at very precise angles, whether it be side or base. Um, this happens to be a, a little bit more of a, an aggressive cup wheel. Um, there are many other machines that do similar things. I have here, this is a, a snow glide. Uh, you can take a look at these at Verdant Racing, uh, the machine we we used to use quite a bit. We use it less, uh, less so now. It has a mini cup wheel in there, um, kind of a um, think of it as a mini sort of do-it-yourself uh, winter stacker machine. Um, you'll see these, uh, lots of World Cup technicians will travel with these in their bags. Um, and then of course, uh, the trusted file guides are something that we still use on a daily basis. Um, this happens to be a side edge bevel. And then I have two different uh, base bevel guides. Uh, these are pretty normal ones. This one actually we had modified to get to extreme low base bevels. We have this one actually at 0.3. That would be for a fist slalom skier, um, and not even then, not even all fist level slalom skills were used 0.3. Uh, a lot of them will still be at 